Welcome back to my latest trapping video. Today we'll be actually going over a griffin trap. So this is actually uh, Cha Cha Griffin Trap, um, his trap. So if you haven't uh, seen his YouTube channel, I'll leave it in a link down below. Uh, go check it out. He has a bunch of these uh, griffin trapping uh, clips on there. Uh, I will just be commentating over one of his clips today, and this was during KBK. So we, we're going to be basically doing his KBK video, and we'll do the reveal of his points at the end of this video. And it was actually something quite amazing how many points he actually got doing this. So um, right now there's about 11 or 12 uh, people walk, walking towards his uh, base. Um, he is recalling his troops now. He's going to port away, have all the hits come in at once. Um, so there will be about, uh, what's called, uh, let's say, uh, 11 or 12 hitting them. Some of them are tier 2. That's a tier 4 hit there. That was a tier 1. That's a tier 4 as well. Uh, I think it's another tier 4. Yeah, 200,000 dead there. Uh, another 200,000 dead. And you got to remember, these are all points for KVK. So these are all tier 4 points he's getting. So we're going to skip into the next clip here. Um, this is, I think, a single person hitting him. At this. Nope, there's two people coming in I'm at right now. This is from SGB. Um, they are both walking at him with like six or seven marches each. Um, he's actually going to wait to... Uh, there's more marches coming towards him. If you don't know what this trap is, it's basically he's acting as a offline bank. As you can see, he has 500 million... Uh, what's called, or 600 million uh, resources out. Um, sometimes he has billions of resources out. It's basically just to get people to walk and try and hit his base. So he has no troops currently at his base. They're all in tiles or within, like, people's bases or whatever. So they're around the map. He is hiding troops. Um, as soon as he hits that homeward bound familiar thing, they all come back within six seconds. All his troops come back at once. Then he ports away, and he basically... Gets all the kills basically. <laughs> so if you don't know what, it, yeah, if you if you don't understand, like he, it's crazy how many kills he can get doing this because, um, it's an empty castle. There's there's nothing like there's nothing hiding in the castle or anything. All his troops are not in his castle right now. Um, it looks like a bank because there's billions of resources out there. So people are just like, oh, I'm just gonna farm his base. I'm gonna send some tier four marches. Um, he he puts it on an island so they gotta walk farther. Uh, the, the further people have to walk, the better it is. As you can see, he's losing resources. So he lo he'll lose a couple hundred million resources doing this. But uh, guess what? He's going to throw in his war gear. Um, he's going to basically hit the homeward, ba or homeward bind. Is that, is that what it's called? I don't know. Anyway, so he's got his war gear on right now. He's going to hit the homeward bound. And it's going to all come back within six seconds. As you can see, all the troops are coming back. He's got six marches there. As soon as the marches get back, he's going to port away. Bam, they're all dead. Or he caps them or whatever. So, and here's a really big one, actually. So, um, you can see, you see he's got fake gear on here. Um, there is, like, I don't know how many people. He's going to throw in his rally gear. What? Well, well, that's fake gear still. But there's, like, 28 marches walking, 30 marches walking towards him right now. Uh, most of these are just um, basically what's called enemy castles for KBK. So you can imagine how many points you're going to get from one round of this. So it's it's also really fun. I mean, you can do it outside of KBK too, and you want to trap people and get a bunch of kills, but um, you got to wait to all the marches are walking towards you. So like, he's got billions of resources out right now. He will lose hundreds of millions of resources while doing this. But guess what? If he's going to get <laughs> he's going to get like 50 million kills sometimes doing this, it's totally worth the resources, that's for sure. Because um, they're obviously losing way more than they're getting back. So Especially if they're sending Tier 4. Because the thing is, a lot of these guys are sending 6 or 7 marches at a time. Guess what? They don't have infirmary space for 6 or 7 200,000 plus uh, Tier 4 marches. So a lot of times they'll actually lose like 600,000, 800,000, a million troops um doing this um as they're walking towards the guy so it's like it's like getting hit by a bunch of rallies but single target one so here you go you can see there's like 30 plus uh, marches now he's going to hit his homeward bind um it's going to come back flying towards him and there's 40 plus marches right now um around 40 right now and he's going to recall his uh leader and basically port away he's going to get all 40 ish marches hitting him right now and then he's going to basically take them all all at once um, and the thing is, uh, he doesn't lose too many troops. It's basically because he has a tier four kind of front line. All, all his troops are basically tier four. So when he recalls all those marches, it's basically all tier four. Um, and then he's going to basically shield there and we'll take a look what actually happened. There was like 40 marches walking towards him. So it's going to take a, a little while to get through all these reports, but yeah. So some people like, this is like a tier one thing or tier two. That's not a big deal. Um, so some people will farm you a tier one, but this is tier four. So he's lost 240,000 tier four on that one, 250,000 tier four dead, 250,000 tier four dead. 
Uh, another 240,000 tier 4 dead. Uh, we'll see what happened here. 300,000 tier 4 dead. Yeah, see, see, you can see they fill their infirmaries and bam, they're all dead. Uh, this is a tier 1, I think, or tier 2. That's tier 2. That's tier 4. 240,000. Uh, that's 104,000. 250,000 tier 4. Uh, that's tier 4 again. 300,000 dead there. 240, like some people are losing like a million tier 4 troops during this uh, thing. It's crazy. 250,000, I think that was tier 3. Um, that was tier 1, I believe. That's tier 4 there. Let's see, 250 there. That's another 300,000. Yeah, you can see he's only getting a couple thousand of his own troops injured at a time too. So there's another 100,000 dead there. 80,000 dead. That's 250, I think it was tier 3. Yeah, I think it was tier 3. Um, that is 200,000 tier 4 dead. That's another 189,000 tier 4 dead. That's 80,000 tier 4 dead. <laughs> yeah, you can see he's only getting like 2,000 injured at a time. 80,000 tier 4. Like, there's so many of these. Oh my god, like, you, you got to see the points at the end of this too. It's insane how many points he got from this KVK. Like, I, I can only dream to get this many points. Um, you, I think you literally got to be like a Griffin Trap. Or, like, have all the wonders or and kill a bunch of troops. This is the big one. So this is going to be the big march of the video. I know the last one was really big. There was 30 plus there. But this one's going to be the real big one. Um, this one's going to have at least 50-ish people hitting him at once. Uh, as you can see, there's, like, 20 plus castles actually marching towards him right now. And they, they're all sending five or six marches towards him. So at any point, there could be close to 50 marches walking towards him so he's gonna actually wait and see if he can get the maximum amount um i think he was trying to do a record here for amount of people doing it but uh well it's a great time to do it even if he's losing resources because um yeah he's, he has like three billion resources out of each he's got over yeah over 10 billion total resources on this one uh so he's gonna take the losses um uh, even if he loses billions of resources it's gonna be totally worth it for this one so as you see it's already over 50 um if you guys have not subscribed to my channel subscribe to my channel uh if you guys haven't seen his channel i'll link it in the description below please go see his channel as well um yes they're up to 56 now it's getting really crazy now so he's gonna gonna get, get ready now because um he's got to make sure that he's got his gear on he's got to make sure that he times as well because there's 50 marches walking towards him here comes the marches there's still 50 plus he's gonna put on his war gear as they come in there's 40 plus 50 ish round 50 right now and then he's going to recall his leader, and then he's going to port away. So he's going to wait for a couple hits, and now he's going to port away. Boom! So he, he waited for a couple more hits, because those hits were actually hitting him, plus the ones that were about coming out. So, um, And people aren't going to have enough time to actually recall. They don't know what's going on. There's too much, too many people walking towards him. They don't see his troops come back or anything. Um, so you, he can actually wait there a couple more seconds, because people aren't going to know what's going to go on. See, he didn't even fill his infirmaries. There's 50-plus hits that hit him on there. And his infirmaries weren't even completely full. So that's crazy. So we'll take a look at the uh, things afterwards. Um, the reason why he actually shields sometimes after this is just so um, if there's any follow-up attacks or rallies and stuff, that doesn't happen. So um, it's actually like you don't really need follow-up attacks. Even if you get a leader, I guess you can just po pour it around. But he's not going to take any uh, any rallies or anything like that. But we'll see what actually happened. He does have a couple. Oh, he actually has a bunch of leaders. <laughs> he has more leaders than I thought. So, um, he has uh, at least three leaders there, but here we go. 375,000 dead there. 137,000. These are tier four, by the way. Uh, 80,000 there. 80,000 there. Um, this is tier four, 240. Uh, 180,000, I think tier four. That's 80,000 tier four dead there. 171,000 dead. 375. That guy's Actually had a max march going on there. He's going to lose a lot of troops, obviously. 100,000, uh, 300,000 dead there. 246,000 and 40, no, 98,000, sorry. <laughs> 100,000 tier 4, uh, 200,000 tier 4, uh, 105,000, 100,000 tier 4 dead. 300,000 tier 4 dead. 250,000 tier 4 dead. 340,000 tier 4 dead. Wow. Okay, 250,000. I can't even keep up. 257,000. 80,000. And I'll show you the I'll show you the points at the end of this, but um, that will be his ending KVK to 209,000. Just basically uh put put your uh what's it called or um blah, not your <laughs> put your uh, 
uh, what's called estimation of how many points he actually got total in this KBA down below before we get to the end of the video and see how close you actually got. So 96,000, 80,000 dead there, 200,000 dead, 104,000, uh, 100,000 dead on that one, 96,000 tier 4. Yeah, these are all tier 4. Holy, 120,000 tier 4, 100,000 tier 4, 167,000 tier 4 dead, 150,000 on that one, 80,000 on that one, 100,000. And here you go, the points. So he got number two in the world at 686 million points. Crazy. Yeah, so um, he was obviously first in the Solo War. Um, he beat uh, KS General. This is this is a Solo War ranking, not world ranking. World ranking, he got number two right behind the guy who got 700 million. But yeah, um, this is basically just from the, uh, the Griffin Trapping. It wasn't from like Wonders or anything like that. This is basically just as Griffin Trapping, all those points. He probably got about 200 million points from that last one alone. That's crazy how much he got from that. Because um, most of them are just tier 4, and there was 50 plus. Like, I don't know exactly how many marches were hitting him, but it was 50 plus at that point because he let a couple hits and a couple started, and it was said about 50 when he poured it away. So that's insane. So thank you, Cha Cha, for sending me uh, this video. Um, if you want to see his, uh, what's called YouTube, I'll link that in the uh, description below. Obviously, this is my YouTube. Um, I'll add my line chat in the down below. If you guys want to join the uh, the guild, not the guild, the uh, group chat that I have, just message me online. Say, hey, add me to the group chat. I'll add you to the group chat. If uh, if not, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys next time.